Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm Michael and today we're gonna take a look at three different rapid pulse cannons and for that we got a couple of volunteers here. They don't know yet what's coming. It's not going to be pleasant, I can tell you that much. Told you. They're being shot at with tons of errors, stack actually. Um, they all die at almost the same time, which is quite a surprise because the pulsar on the right is a lot slower. The two pulsars on the left, they're already finished after 13 seconds firing a whole stack. This one is taking a little longer. 26 seconds, twice as long. So let's just reset everything and then we'll take another look at it from a different angle. And another three volunteers. Thanks very much, sir. And then another stack of errors. And we're all set. Okay, and fire at will. On the left and right we got new designs based on comparators. In the center we got the traditional one with two repeaters pointing into each other with just one tick delay. And for a size comparison I used diamond blocks. What else? Just quickly build them. For first the one with the comparator. The comparator checks for updates in the dispenser. Then its signal needs to be extended by a regular repeater which goes into another comparator. That comparator is part of a very tiny clock consisting of three red zone dots and a comparator and it's very very fast. And then we got to invert the signal from the power source and that's it. Just fill it with some stuff. What do we have? Uh, yeah, that'll do. Of course, I <laughs> forgot to put the comparator into subtraction mode. Again. The good thing is, it will automatically stop firing when it's done and it doesn't use pistons, so it's silent. This is different from the traditional one, which uses a piston, which was already broken in 145. And it uses a repeater clock with two opposing repeaters, both set to one. And for the ignition of that clock, we are gonna use a redstone torch with a block on top. It's already powering the repeaters. And when I extract that piston, it will shorten the signal from the redstone torch just enough to start a one tick pulse. So the bad thing about this is it will keep on ticking no matter whether it runs empty or not. But we can quickly change that with another comparator which will tell us whether the dispenser is already empty or not. And since the comparator signal is very weak, we're gonna extend it with a torch. Since we need to invert it, um, let's see. Yep turns itself off. Perfect. Now for the last pulsar, which is also the easiest to build, uses another comparator and the signal gets extended again by a repeater, then just lead it around with a bit of redstone, a bit more redstone to power the dispenser and invert the signal from the lever. And that's it. It's not very fast, but it's really easy to build. Now the dispenser updates itself all the time and it's powering a clock that way. So it's very comfortable if I'm using that for uh, my chicken farm with the egg dispenser. It's very tiny. I love it. If you do too, leave a like. Thanks.